All right, uh, we're here to talk about Callaway Golf for uh, targeting Callaway drivers. Uh, Jeff, Jeff is behind the camera and Kevin up here. So we'll go over a little bit of our market research. So uh, when we started off, we started asking uh, a bunch of people about what kind of drivers that they used, uh, what was important to them when they purchased a driver. Some of the key things that we found out was 73% of uh, the people that we interviewed viewed TaylorMade as the most popular driver. Um, following along that, only 36% of the uh, respondents actually used TaylorMade drivers. And we kind of see the same kind of story in the Callaway drivers, where 64% of people consider Callaway when they're looking at buying a new driver, but really only 20% or 27% use the Callaway driver. So there's a big gap here and a big market we'd like to tap into. And overall, I don't think we have a general brand issue because over 82% of the people we interviewed have a good view of Callaway. So looking at the industry, we kind of uh, we believe that uh, Callaway needs to segment the industry, uh, kind of how it's set up right now. You have avid, avid golfers, core golfers, and occasional golfers. Avid golfers are going to be the ones that play more than 25 rounds a year. Core golfers are the 8 to 25, and then occasional are 0 to 8. Our target should be core golfers. Callaway currently uh, focuses on the avid market right now, but where all the money is and the way that they're going to gain market share is by focusing on the core and a lot of what our research showed was that some of the key decisions people make when purchasing a driver are around the quality or feel of the club and the price. So what we want to do, we want Callaway drivers to offer the best value in the market among all major manufacturers by bringing the best technology at the lowest cost of the so some of the recommendations we said, we need to increase our presence in the retail. This is where uh, the, the consumers actually purchase the club. They don't go to the golf course and get clubs there. What they do is they go to the dicks or the, uh, the golf dump. Uh, they look around, see what's available, and choose their drivers there. So we need a better presence there. We also need a better trade-in program, or actually start a trade-in program. And what we're recommending is that if you have a Callaway driver now, an order model, bring it in we'll give you 15% off the current model. Uh, likewise, if you have a competitor model, bring it in, we'll give you 5% off, now you're a Callaway customer, and the next time you do a trade-in, you can get the 15% off. So, we want to get in the heads of the consumer when they're buying the product. So what we want to do is give them the clubs to use. Let them use it, let them realize how good a Callaway driver is and how much value they can get it. So by doing to do that, we're going to have uh, demo clubs for rent, so everyone can go right now to a club store and demo a club, but they can't walk out of the store with the club and actually play a round of golf. What we're offering is we're going to allow you to play a round of golf by renting you out the club for the day. So you, the consumer can get a real life experience using the club. Uh, secondly, to drive home the value aspect of, of the core market we're targeting, we're going to drop the price on our lower end models. We're still going to compete in the higher end with the best technology, but our prices for the lower end model are going to be a little lower so we can tap in more into that core segment. And finally, to kind of entice our customers who are already customers to stay loyal to us and to add a little value to our brand as a whole, we're going to offer a limited lifetime warranty. And that covers kind of repair and replacement of a club if it breaks for any of the manufacturing reasons that one might so so those are our recommendations we believe that uh, if Callaway adopts this this will uh, allow them to gain back that market share that they lost at TaylorMade and once again return the company to profitability you can't argue with physics